Hi everyone, welcome back. Looking at Pythagoras theorem and how we can use it to solve actual worthy questions. So when you walk into a test, you get a lot of questions that have different concepts and each of them will form a right angle triangle. And then from that right angle triangle, you'll try to use h squared equals a squared plus b squared to figure out the length of what's going on. Here's an interesting one for me. If, if a radio tower in Karamas Bali, so I was staying in Karamas Bali on the east coast of Bali in a resort, and right out the front of where I was staying, there was this tower. This, uh, I think it's a radio tower, but I wasn't sure. Very skinny tower, only about three sides about that size, and it went up a long way. And I thought, oh, it'd be amazing to see someone climb up there, or how do they do it? Anyway, it had cables going out each side to hold it in place. And I was very fortunate that a few days later, someone turned up to do some repairs on it. And I watched them climb all the way to the top. Anyway, this has in mind about this question to give you something that's got a little bit where I actually saw what had happened. If a radio tower in Bali has a cable connected to it, now watch what's going on here. Some people struggle with their reading. And I want to help people who are struggling with their reading to get through the words. It's 35 metres. So really out of that whole thing here, we had a tower and it was 35 metres from the ground. It was connected 35 metres from the ground. So if I just said, I don't want a fancy diagram, I'm just going to put a tower like that and there's the ground. So I could do this like this and say, there's the ground. Now, a lot of times we're presuming the ground to be level. Of course, in Bali, it's not level. So I went up to here because the cables weren't right at the top. The cables were down further and connected so they didn't have to go right to the top. You don't want it right to the top, actually often it's stronger to put it further down. So that distance there becomes 35 metres. And we've instantly formed a right angle triangle. Let's look at the next lot of words. And the cable is attached to the ground. So what we're saying here is really only two words there. The ground, 15 metres. So if I made that 35 metres, I don't want to go out 35. I'm going to come back in here somewhere and be reasonable, try to be reasonable with my diagram. If that's a ground and we attach it 15 metres from the, from, now watch what the word said, from the base of the tower. So if you're still struggling with the words, you can probably almost resume that we're going to get, here's a tower, here's 15 metres where from the base of the tower. We're not going to talk about from over here because it's got nothing to do with the question. And then, um, and then they will talk about often on level ground. They don't always say. So you can presume it means level ground. And that talks about how long is the cable? What shape are we forming? A right angle triangle. So the cable goes from there, if I can draw it nicely, to there, that's not bad. That's the cable. Now by the way, if I've got a right angle triangle, the longer side is called H or the hypotenuse. So the big part is getting that diagram correct. And like you think about test after test I've seen and questions over the years, and it'll be completely different situations. Might talk about the cat that's up a tree, and the fire brigade turn up, but their ladder is only so long will they be able to reach the cat. And you can go so many questions. How tall is a cliff? If someone's coming up to a cliff and they can figure out what it is. Ah, oh, here we go. So what have we got? Right angle triangle. Non-thinking. I keep talking about the non-thinking approach of put the formula down. Some people are so quick, they'll just go, watch it for a second if you want to take the ascent. They'll go 35 by 35. They'll go 15 by 15 and I'll figure out the answer from there. But let's have a look at that over here. Hypotenuse, we don't know what it is. You could leave it H for hypotenuse if you wanted, but most mathematicians around the world will put X. It doesn't matter what language you're speaking of. I've seen, I've tutored a Japanese student and her textbook had everything in X. So it's very common. And then you can go 35 and you can go 15. And it doesn't matter which one you write because if you write it that way. So if you're adding, if we had two plus three, let's make it simple. That's the same as 3 plus 2. If I had 160 plus 140, it's the same as 140 plus 160. So I need to calculate what 35 squared is and 15 squared, and I've got them over here. I don't know 35 squared off by heart. That's 1, 2, 2, 5. So you could pick up your calculator, go 35 by 35, or press the square button. And this one is 225. When I add the two of those together, I end up getting... I can see it in my head anyway, 1,450. How do we get rid of a square? We talk, take a square root. I think I've nagged about that a lot, but if it's the first time you've ever seen one of my videos, 
the word square and square root are opposites. So a square and a square root can remove each other out of the question. So if I wanted to, I could write here, if I go to red pen, square root there and square root there. If I take it on one side, I do it on the other, and I call that the opposites to both sides. I don't want to nag about too much, you can go watch my other videos. So we did the opposite of a square. Opposite of a square is a square root, and we do it to both sides. So there I've done it to both sides, and then what did the square and the square root do? Cancel out. That doesn't mean the x is gone, it means we're left with x. This answer here I've got written down is 38, and I'm going to write a lot of numbers. 8, 8, 6, 5, and it keeps going on. Now, by the way, if I needed to have that cable there, and if I went, well, I'm going to make it 38 metres. The question is, was that accurate enough, accurate enough, especially if I've got other cables going in other directions, and will it be perfectly vertical? And they're wanting to get as close as they can to vertical, which is much better. Let's have a look what this is. If I said I wanted two decimal places, it's probably not accurate enough for that cable, but it might be. Let's, so let's go three decimal places. So if I come across here, and is it closer to 078 or is it closer to 079? That's a big number. Anything five or more is big. So that becomes 079. So my answer that I'd be looking for in real life is 079. So I couldn't make sure that I had enough cable to go 38.079 metres. Interesting part is that's to the nearest millimetre. Don't want to talk about it too much. But that's 38 metres and 79 millimetres. So it's very accurate at that point. You don't need to go more than accurate than that. That's why I talk about it's better for you to figure out in the question what accuracy you think you need. And that's how we calculate the length of that. And then if you were actually sitting in an office and you knew it had to be 35 metres and you knew you had to go out 15 metres and you wanted four cables, then you can go out and get four lots of that. Now that still won't be enough. So people will get more than four lots, so have a bit left over. Because they tie the cable at each end and there's going to be bits cut off. And sometimes you can't buy it all in one length. You have to buy it in shorter lengths and figure out what you're going to do. Oh, getting too long. I hope it helps. If it's uh, helpful to you, please, two things I keep nagging about. Number one, if you really want to support me, I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. So I can get some more subscribers. That would be great. Thank you for all the people who've been subscribing for me lately. And also the big thing is pressing the like and I keep saying like means that YouTube takes more notice on my video and puts it up and shows it to more people. Thanks for watching.